Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I got in um, some of the stuff that I ordered for Black Friday and got, um, well, I, I sat down to YouTube and I started binging. And one second here. The design stuff on YouTube. And if you are in a place where you are sick for an afternoon it's a wonderful way to get yourself involved in something else and forget that you're not feeling all that great and so that's kind of what i did and so i have all these design ideas going through my brain and you know all these you know new new ideas for new projects and stuff and um i came over here to get ready and I got a, out a couple of the things that I've been wanting to play with that I got for Black Friday and all of a sudden it just sort of turned into something else. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and get started and uh, as far as what I used for primer today, I did use the e.l.f. I have mine in Fair One and then the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh and this one is in uh, 55 Neutral. I think. And as far as what I did beyond that, I used the Wet n Wild Incognito. And why are my ears looking so large in the viewfinder? It's really weird. Here, let's do that. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Okay, so um, I went ahead and got some makeup from Mama Mama Mitchell. Mama Mama. Mitchell. It's also called Made by Mitchell. But um, the what I picked up was, uh, well, I got it over at Beauty Bay. And so I got the Curve Case. And this is going to be blush, bronzer, and contour. And um, this is the light one. They have light, medium, and dark. And uh, this is very definitely cream makeup. It works much better with um, if you have a densely packed brush, um, especially for the cheek products. I found that using my fingers didn't really work very well. Um, but definitely going ahead and using a brush. This is BS Small, and it's a really dense brush. Um, it has give, but again, it just it's really good for using on products like this um washing this isn't the funnest after it's been in a cream product but yeah we can get around that and um so today what i used was uh this color is my bronzer and then i did go ahead and use this color right here as uh my blush today so that's what i have on there and then what I did go ahead and do on the eyes is also from Mama M Mitchell. And I did go ahead and get their color case. And so this has a whole rainbow of colors in it. And again, everything in here is cream and it all dries down matte. So let me go ahead and get you a couple of swatches from some of the colors here. And we'll go ahead and take a look. Um, it's very, very thick. It does blend, but like I said, it's a very thick consistency. It's pretty close, if not really close to grease paint. If you've ever done theatrical work, um, and that's where I started. I don't usually talk about it on my channel because I did it so long ago that everything has changed. Um, but these, it, it, this whole formula really reminds me of it and I actually like kind of using it. Um, it's a different kind of texture. You can blend the colors. They do dry down um, completely. So they do dry down. They dry down matte. You can go ahead and uh, blend them out. Like I, I mean, this is going a lot of the way down my arm here. So um, yeah, you can definitely go ahead and blend them out, but they are definitely matte and um, they do definitely dry down. Like I can't really move these very much anymore at all. So uh, that's kind of the formula. 
and it is, you know, a classic theatrical kind of formula. And um, so what I did with my uh, color case, yeah, that's what it's called, is I started with this white over here in the corner. I put that down as a base um, all over the eyelid. And then I went ahead and took this purple, and I did the outer corner in the purple. Uh, this really pretty turquoise right here, I went ahead and used on the inner part. And then I did go ahead and take the neon, which is this yellow right here, and I put it right on the lid. I uh, went ahead and used an Imride eye pencil. This one is in a dark forest green all the way around the eye. And so this is how the eye kind of turned out. So just the fact that these are um, much thicker cream, it kind of lends itself to usually in your fingers, which is what I went ahead and did on the eye part. Um, but like I said, if you want to go ahead and blend out, um, especially with a bronzer and a blush, um, definitely a brush that is denser, like these BS Small brushes that are pretty they have a lot of a lot of bristles, and um, you can really control how you're blending. Uh, these ones work really well for that. But for the actual eye colors themselves, um, it's a lot for a little tiny brush to actually be able to blend. So with the eye look, I think. Um, the way that, and I've only had them for a couple of days, the way that they're working for me as far as blending and getting the color depth that I wanted, um, fingers are working better. So what I thought I'd do with you since I have the base part on um, and I have my mascara on as well, I use the uh, Tarte Tarte Lip and the Sky High by Maybelline. So that's what I have on for the mascara. Um, and then I use the Essence Thick and Wow uh, to go ahead and do the eyebrows. And this one's in Caramel Brown. So I got all the base stuff done. And it's all very matte at this point. There isn't really anything other than the primer that had any glow in it. Um, but I figured that we could go ahead and try to put some of the uh, some of the glowier glitzier kind of fun stuff uh, this is the Ma Maybelline Master Chrome in uh, Molten Peach and so I thought maybe I'd go ahead and do that as a highlighter here and see how it works with going ahead and putting glitter on top because glitter is a pretty amazing thing. And um, so, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put this on as a topper. And so that's kind of how it's coming out. Um, yeah, it's not standing out. And it's definitely blending into it, so that's good. Um, for a moment there, I was like, well, are other formulas going to work with it? Or are they going to, you know, just like stand out and stand right on top? But it looks like they're blending in. So that's good. Yeah. And then the first thing that I thought of when I was putting the eyeshadow on was the ColourPop. Uh, this is the Tassel shade, and it's a Super Shock. And so I was thinking, well, I need something like a topper to go ahead and play up the eye a little bit more because most of the time I'm not going to go for an all-matte look. Um, in my feeling, this is colorful enough that you could do it as an all-matte look, which is what it is right now. But being me and being older, I thought, well, I would rather go ahead and um, put some shimmer on there to maybe just give it a little bit to make it less intense and to make it a little bit more fun. So I have a couple of super shocks. Um, 
This one is definitely going blue, and so it's a very, very light blue. And um, it's definitely blue. It may not be showing up that way on camera, but it's definitely a baby blue. And then this one, which is a green, and this one is more of a duochrome kind of green. But I thought we could go ahead and add some color in and see how it goes. And I think what I want to do is go ahead and add some of this green right on top of what I have on the lid. And hopefully the textures go okay together. Because a lot of the time with stage makeup, you really have to use it with itself. It doesn't lend itself to commercial makeup at all. But this seems to be, I mean, this wasn't made for stage. So it it's definitely, it's working well with the Super Shock. So that's good. So that's it with a little bit of green sparkle right on the lid. And then I was thinking maybe a little bit of blue on the inner corner and the white on top of the purple on the outer corner. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and try it here. But it's really a color block, and that's the whole way that I felt with it when I was looking at it in the box, the color case and everything. And um, it's the way that it wanted to go on. I'm sure that with um, with the right brushes and with the right concept behind it, you can probably do some amazing things. But with me, I like to go color block. I think it's kind of fun. So this is the white one, and this one is in tassel, and it's another super shock. So... Um, so that took it from a matte into yeah into a shimmery glimmery super shot kind of thing this is the way it looks like now it's also a fun color story it's um you know a lot of colors that blend really well together so they're they're fun together um hmm. as far as the lips at this point why don't we go with something closer to nude i have the my type by it's a melted matte by Too Faced. We'll add some matte back in there. Okay. So it's starting to come together. Um, let's see. I already put some powder on. So I think probably at this point what I want to do is go ahead and use the Glisten Up by Fourth Ray, which is a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the ColourPop website and do... And Let's see if we can get a little bit of, uh, get it all melt together a little bit here. And yeah, it's coming off as, um, yeah, a fun look. It's starting to melt together a little bit more. And how about some lip gloss to go ahead and give the lips a little bit more punch here. Uh, let's see what I got. This one is kind of fun. It's one from NYX. It's one of their Cosmic Metals one that I've had. I'm not even sure if they do that anymore. But to liven up the mat a little bit. So yeah, there we go. So we kind of took a grease paint look that was really matte and taking everything really matte and added in some Super Shocks by ColourPop and some glitter um, as far as the topper here. A little bit of uh, lip gloss with um, 
has some shine to it. And so instead of having something that's really, really flat, now it has a little bit of depth and, and shimmeriness and funness in it. And um, yeah, I'm liking it. I really am. It's um, kind of taking something classic and then adding in some of the new fun glitter into it. So uh, yeah, I think that's probably the look. Definitely. So um, here's the look again uh, with all of the Super Shock glitter on top of it. And it just brings it out. So you get some shimmer and glimmer and it just makes it pop out instead of, I think mattes bring everything back. But yeah, with the glitter it just definitely moves it forward. So uh, yeah, that's how the look looks. I suggest going ahead and picking these up, especially if you want to play um, with going ahead and mixing colors together to come up with your own colors. This color case is going to be great for going ahead and doing that. I don't know if I showed you, but here. So they do mix together, and yeah, I know. I said it was the end of the video, but it isn't. So, um, there's the purple right there. Taking some of the white. And, yeah. See? Now you got lilac. The name of the channel. Lilac Shadow and Glow. So there's a lilac color for you. And, um, just so that you can see, here's the purple over here. So this is the purple right here. And then this is the color that we mix together. So you can definitely go ahead and create your own colors with the color case. And it's a lot of fun, you know, just from a perspective of sitting down and playing and finding out, you know, what colors you want to create and what colors um, to make your own lilac colors or whatever color that you want. And um, these are also really fun to go ahead and mix together. Um, I This one over here for bronzer is going to be way too yellow for me, so I'm probably going to end up mixing these two together to go ahead and get a really summery bronzer. Um, I love having this color. Uh, this color doesn't get included all the time, and it's one of those fair skin colors that really works for us. And, um, yeah, you can definitely go ahead and mix. I've mixed these two together as far as blushes. So there's all sorts of different ways that you can mix things together with a, uh, with a concept that's created like this. It's a lot of fun. It is a different kind of texture to work with with especially for the eyeshadows because uh, this is going to be a lot thicker just thicker than what you're used to working with and so you're going to have to blend and that's why I'm saying fingers 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 for blending but um, yeah it's definitely something that I think anybody who's into makeup would really like as a gift and like I said it was over at Beauty Bay <clears throat> Beauty Bay is, <clears throat> excuse me, Beauty Bay is based in the UK, and so everything is sh shipped over from the UK, so it does take about two weeks to get here. Also, um, Made by Mitchell is also based in the UK. They do have their own website. They kind of steer you to the Beauty Bay website if you're ordering from America, so that's something to keep in mind. But um, for anybody who's into makeup and likes to play and mix colors and do all that good stuff, I think that this would be um, a wonderful, wonderful gift for the holiday. And uh, these all come separately, um, so you don't have to get them together as a set. I did. But um, it's a really fun concept, and it's updating theater makeup and um, it'll give you some punchy colors and you can do some block looks and some graphic looks and you know play with colors so 
um, I think that it's a great purchase and um, if you have somebody who likes to do that kind of thing you might want to think about going ahead and getting this for them as well so um, that's my video and I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later bye